The knowledge of Bartonella infections is underrepresented in uh, the medical community since decades. It's getting slightly better, but still there are lots of, what you say, um, wrong information circulating. In fact, the, it, it is necessary that uh, medical people, doctors, uh, general practitioners are aware of these infectious diseases. It's a frequent infectious diseases, but it can be diagnosed pretty easy and it can be treated pretty easy. It can be diagnosed reasonably using serological, serological assays which are worldwide distributed, which are worldwide present. They have some weakness, they have some strengths as any diagnostic tests, but they are well accepted in the community. In the normal population you have a prevalence of antibodies against Bartonella of around about, let's say, 6 to 8 percent, 6 to 10 percent, maybe depending on which area of Germany you look for. If you look for people, for instance, who are working in the forest, forest workers, the, incident, uh, the prevalence of anti Bartonella antibodies can be much higher, over 30 percent, which might be a hint that they get exposed while they are working in the forest. It's not clear whether this high zero prevalence is uh, specific for Behenzele or whether it is caused by cross-reactivity uh, by other Bartonella species which are present in the mammal woodstock, yeah, in wildlife uh, animals. So this has to be found out, but in principle uh, you could say around about 6 to 8, 10 percent of the people have uh, uh, anti-Bartonella antibodies, IgG antibodies, being a sign that they got in contact sometime in their life with Bartonella species. Well, normally a Bartonella infection in a human competent patient does not need any treatment. Only the immunosuppressed patients should receive uh, antibiotic treatment. There are causes of the disease which are more pronounced. These patients might benefit from an antimicrobial therapy and this can be administered orally, normally, yeah, and uh, this normally uh, will lead to the resol uh, resolve of the infection. Yes. The big problem is that you have to think on the infection when you see the patient. Yeah? And uh, you have to think on the pa of this uh, uh, infection, you have to look for lymph nodes, you have to look for endocarditis, you have to look for uh, the rare, rarely, to see, uh, rarely uh, described manifestations of Bartonella infections. And if you do not look for it, you will not find any hint that your patient might have a Bartonella infection. Yes. So, uh, infectious diseases are a threat worldwide, especially the resistant gram-negative bacteria which we have now to fight with coming from other countries uh, to, uh, uh, our, to, to, to our hospitals um, are a serious threat of, uh, for our patients and yes, uh, I think infectious disease will get even more important in the future than we have it right now.